Welcome to Electron Line. In this example, we're given two numbers, let's call them A and B. When we add them, the sum is 1, but when we add the squares of their numbers, we must get a maximum. And so that's what we're trying to figure out is what are those two numbers such that when you square them and you sum them together, you get a maximum value. So the first thing we're trying to figure out after we draw a schematic, and of course the schematic is fairly straightforward, there it is, we need to figure out what's being maximized. Of course, that's actually already defined, so let's write it down. We want to maximize the sum of the squares, which means we now have to define an equation that represents the sum of the squares, and that's item number three. So the sum, let's call it S, is equal to A squared plus B squared. And of course, that's what we're trying to maximize. Now, since the sum is defined as two different variables, and we don't know what either one of them are, we need to find a constraint that relate the two variables to one another so we can replace one by the other and only have a function of a single variable. So that's number four. We need a constraint. And the constraint can be found by realizing that when you add the two numbers together, they're equal to one. which means that b can be represented by 1 minus a, and we can substitute that back into our equation right here. So let's do that. So that would be number 5, step 5, s equals a squared plus, instead of b we write 1 minus a quantity squared. Let's simplify this equation. So we have 1 minus 2a plus a squared, and combining these, we get the sum equals 2a squared minus 2a plus 1. And now we're ready for the next step where we're going to take the derivative of this. After all, we're trying to find the maximum value of the sum of the squares. We're going to take the derivative and set it equal to 0 and solve for a. So that's step number 6. s prime is equal to 4a minus 2. And now we're going to set s prime equal to 0, which means 0 equals 4a minus 2. And now we solve that for a. So that's step number 7. So we get 0 is equal to 4a minus 2. 4a equals 2. Therefore, a equals 1 half. And of course, now that we know a, we can also solve for b by plugging it back into this equation. We get b is equal to 1 minus a, b is equal to 1 minus a half, and so b is also 1 half. In other words, if you have two numbers, and we add them together, and they add up to 1, and you want the sum of their squares to be a maximum value, then each number should be exactly 1 half. And then, of course, for step 8, we can go ahead and square the two. So we get a squared plus b squared, is equal to 1 half squared plus 1 half squared, and that is equal to 1 quarter plus 1 quarter, which is equal to 1 half, and that's the maximum value two numbers can have when you square them or That is the maximum value that two numbers can have. When you add them together, you get one, and when you square them, the maximum value you can get is one half. And that's how it's done. It was good until then. <laughs> I just lost it. Oh, man.